Hello everybody, this velapi bird that you can see in this video is controlled by a system called neural network that tell him when to jump and when not to jump. You may heard about the neural network uh, but I'm not here to discuss in depth about the neural network in this video. But a brief explanation is that in the neural network system you put uh, some inputs. In, the, in this case we put uh, for example the y coordinate of the, of the flappy bird and the, the coordinates of the tube that are, are approaching to the flappy bird. As you can see there are nodes here and each of this information going to multiply by some weights and go to other nodes uh, and then finally it's come to the output. So the output should be between 0 and 1 because we use a sigmoid function and if the output is uh, greater than half so we say jump and if it's less than half we say don't jump but you know there are a lot of possibility of uh, for this system so how we can find these correct weights that uh, tell the bears that when to jump or not to jump one method is called back propagation for the back propagation you should have a known data on that known data you have some input and you know that answer okay so you put that input in the neural network and uh, and see what the reaction of the neural network what output of the neural network is to that input and at last you see how much your output is different from the correct answer on base of that you put an error to each output node and then and then you back propagate error to other nodes and then you tweak the weights to approach your answer in the games that doesn't work very well because in the game in the situation you don't know the, exactly the, what is the answer so what we did here we use a genetic algorithm neural network uh, or neuro evolution genetic algorithm is not specifically for the neural network you can use it in other area uh, to find the answer but people use it also for the neural network so how does it work we create for example 100 200 or 300 of different random neural networks and let that neural network to control one bird okay and at last we hope that one bird is going to act better than other in this example you see i created 150 birds okay and I see which one is acting better and after that those bit that acting better get them and we tweak uh, their values and uh, we create another 150 birds so you can see this is uh, going to next generation and it's going to produce uh, next birds so I wrote this uh, in the C++ uh, through the GD native um, because C++ is much more flexible and it has much more library for the matrix operation because for the neural network you need matrix operation and I used eigen as a library for the matrix operation and I decide to release this uh, code on the github but now I'm just uh, uh, correcting some of my codes and adding some features to it maybe later in this channel I will put some uh, tutorial to that code and you will see some how does it work exactly on the action but uh, this library that I made for the Godot and GD native it's really easy you can say how many layers do you want and uh, how, where, where you, you should just put the input and put the population and everything goes smoothly okay when I publish my code I will inform you and maybe if I have time I will put some tutorial about how you can make uh, a neural network easily in the Godot with the help of the C++ and uh, GD native uh, so have a good time goodbye